What up, tubers? Welcome back to another draft here on Arena. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out cardkingdom.com slash Numot for all your magic card needs. Got some more of this quote-unquote Chaos Ravnica draft. So this is going to be Murders at Karlov Manor, uh, Ravnica Allegiance, and um, one of the other Ravnica sets. It's not a true Chaos format, and it's only three of the Ravnican sets, so it's really not true uh, to the name of the format, but it is what it is. Obviously, there are like nine plus sets that have been on the Ravnican plane. In any case, we have Murders first, which I'm not pleased about seeing, but uh, it is what it is. I'm actually going to go with Nervous Gardener here, pick one, pack one, just because um, we are going to be playing with two other sets, so I don't want to lock myself in into like the face down strategy, for example, uh, with the Sumalu Sentry. Getting past Adelny is kind of interesting though. Hmm. Creatures you control with power two or less can't be blocked by creatures with power three. Great. If ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers that ability triggers an additional time. That's probably just a good card here. In fact, this pack is just very, very solid. There's a Novice Inspector, Tunnel Tipster, Shock, Clan Crusher, Basher rather. Um. Oh, I said on my previous video, you could probably force Boros and build an insane deck. In fact, I kind of want to try that method out. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Nervous Gardener. Though I don't think there were any good or red or white cards in that first pack. There was like an Auspicious Arrival and like a Hellion. Yeah, maybe we try to force Boros. In which case, I could see not taking the Delny. It could even be better just to take the Novice Inspector. But I suppose Delny's probably good enough. Yeah, let's try forcing Boros and see what happens. Getting a really weak pack for the Boros. Call a Surprise Witness, I suppose, is okay. If we wanted to stick with what we have, Bite Down would be okay. For Boros, I guess Automaton? I really do want to try forcing Boros, though, because I think um, despite... Pack 2 being not very good for Boros. Pack 3 is usually insane, if I recall, recall from my first draft of this format correctly. I bet you green-white's just totally reasonable as well. I, I, you know, I'm not losing anything here. I still want to force Boros, but... Okay, that's a really good pickup. Dog Walker and an inside source. Polonius Rage over Bystander. And ignore the green card. Can oh yeah. Wow, another dog walker and a glint weaver here. Okay, so I don't know what people are drafting, but we are looking actually pretty good. I think that's like the third branch of V2 Gazi we've seen. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's force Boros. Let's force Boros and hopefully get rewarded. The bite down from our pack wield. So did the Hellion though, so we'll just take that. Asher wield, fantastic. I didn't get the auspicious arrival back, which is what I wanted the most, but oh, this is a good start. Yeah, um, pack two, I don't think has that many Boros cards, right? But pack three should have a lot. I think is the way it goes. It's murders at Karlov Manor first. Is it Ravnica Allegiance next? I don't even remember the names of all these sets. The ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers. I don't think that works with Dog Walker, right? Does that work? I don't, I don't actually know. If you play this face down, when you activate the Disguise, does that trigger Delny? Or does it then see the Dog Walker as a 3 power creature and it doesn't trigger? I'm guessing it doesn't work, but that would be cool if it did. Get 4 dogs. And answers... Automaton on the wheels, fine. Let's go to pack two. Let's see, 
we have a Burning Tree Vandal, I guess was decent. It's a three mana, two one with Riot. And then whenever it attacks, you can rummage. So Riot means it can enter with a one one counter or haste. Senate Guild Mage was amazing. Firewheeler was good, if you could cast it. Yeah, this is not the card we want to be first picking, but we're forcing Boros and we're going to get rewarded is my plan. Next pack has a Scorch Mark. Not terrible. Footlight Fiend, honestly fine. What does this one do again? 3-2 three, for 3. ETB gives a creature plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. It's whatever. Let's take the Scorch. Ooh! Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, oh. Not as exciting as I thought. So it's 2 mana 2-2 two, two with very, very little upside here. Because the dog walkers, for example, we're generally going to be playing them disguised. So maybe, what does this one do? Flame deals 4 damage to target creature and opponent controls, then 2 damage to each other creature that player controls. If you could treat... Oh, that's just okay in our deck. Impassioned Orator, E2-2, two, two, and another... That's whatever. I mean, I bet you the hero still has the highest upside, but I doubt it's going to trigger all that frequently. Sky Tether made a creature lose flying and have defender. It's the second uh, high alert we've seen. Kind of funny. Let's see. Guildgate for maybe splashing. Four mana, five, two. That has spectacle. So if you've hit an opponent, you can play it for three instead. I mean, I don't think we want Sky Tether in this deck. Ooh, excuse me. Not that the Acrobat's all that exciting. Two mana, three one. Yeah, like I said, pack two is not going to be good for us. It's going to be pack three that really gives us the goods again. Oh man, Sharkto Crab. Sharkto Crab did a huge amount of work in our draft yesterday. Destroy target artifact, destroy target creature with defender. So probably just taking the land here. Just in case. Two mana, two ones. Three mana, sack it. Gain control target creature power three or less. Untap that creature gains haste. I guess that's fine. Oh, five mana, six, five is just fat. Tax each turn. This was a good spectacle enable, uh, enabler, but it wasn't a good card. And then a uh, combat trick, honestly, not bad too. I think we're going to take the combat trick here since our deck is, uh, <laughs> our deck is like mono creatures. Well. Freudian slip there, I suppose. Um, literal 2-2 two, two for 2. Literal bear. Or in this case, cat. But yeah, I suppose we'll take the 3-mana three 3-1 three, lifelink. This is not a good deck right now. Um, yeah, this is not a good deck right now, but... I have faith that pack three will bail us out. This would not be a terrible act of treason deck. I am not a big fan of Burn Bright, but I suppose I didn't get like an inspired charge card or whatever on the job card. And we have two dog walkers. Yeah, probably supposed to take the Bright. A lot of filler right now, though. Officer on the wheels, whatever. Does the next set have the... Uh, there's a card that's like a 2-3 Mentor. It's a red-white 2-3 Mentor card. For um, Boros, right? There's also Sky Knight Legionnaires and stuff. Okay, we're going back to allied colors. Let's get some good red and white stuff. Oh, not the re not the correct red white card I was talking about, but not a bad one. This pack is fantastic for us. We have a Boros Guildgate here. Wojak Bodyguard is really good. Three mana, three three mentor that um, can't attack alone, but 
pumps up your other creatures. Honestly, Hunted Witness, totally reasonable. Take Heart's fine. I think we're just taking the Guild Mage here. It's a good reach. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2 with late game potentials. Command the Storm. 5 damage to a creature instant. No, we do have a 2-2 two, two Vigilance here. And this is a multicolor card too for our... Um, who's a what's it? Hero of Precinct 1. It's a decent pickup, honestly. Another one of the uh, Legion Guild Mages. Oh man, another really good pack. Yeah, see, this is this is why we force Boros, because we get hooked up in pack three. When the Unicorn attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. That's also fantastic. Direct current's very good. Three mana, two damage to any target with jump start, so you can kind of flash it back from your graveyard. Guild Mage, Unicorn, Direct Current. I think we're just taking another guild mage. We've gotten a lot of multicolor cards now for our uh, hero. What does this one do? Six damage to any target. Instant can't be countered. I don't remember that being great. Destroy all creatures with toughness four or greater. That's kind of cute. When it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one or plus o oh, plus one until the turn. That's fine. Ornery is also just a fine two drop. Like replacing the prowling. Kitty Cat's good. Replacing that, most likely. Hellion's probably fine to cut. I don't know. I mean, the Blaze's big reach is just six mana. I think I'd rather just take another two drop here. Three mana, two, three. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, target creature and opponent controls can't block. What's our instant sorcery count? Only four. Probably not good enough. The Hammer Dropper. Four mana, five, two with Mentor. Or there's a <laughs> vanilla three mana three two. Destroyer creature toughness four agree. That's probably not bad, but I think I want the creature. No, I guess we do kind of need the removal for a bigger threat. I guess I'll take the collar. That's fine. This card was not good. What do we have? We have a hellkite whelp five mana three three. That when it attacks deals one damage to a creature of defending player controls. That's okay. Remember these maximized cards actually not being terrible, but you wanted to be like blue red for them. Yeah, totally not bad, but I think the whelp is slightly better. Hunted Witness is fine. Maniacal Rage, just plus two plus two and can't block. So you can play this on your opponent's creature if you want to make it unable to block, or you can just play it on your own to start beating down big. Maybe. Take heart and bodyguard wield. Oh, man, I want the combat trick, but the bodyguard is so good on turn three. How many tricks do I have? One, two, three-ish. Yeah, we'll take the bodyguard. I think it's too good. I don't think we're playing that. The Restorer is surprisingly not bad in this deck as well, even though it doesn't look all that good. I think it's totally playable. Alright, I mean, it's not the most exciting Boros deck, but I think it will do. Can probably cut the Hazda Officer. Yeah, our, our deck is just like mono creatures. Automaton's probably fine to cut. I guess Forum Familiar is probably not that good here. Yeah, this looks fine. Could I get away with 16 lands? Probably. Probably get away with 16 lands here. Maybe just add like another random two drop. I guess the three one's okay. It's got big power anyways for two mana. All right, let's try this Boros beater. 8-8 eight, eight and ship. Let's go.
And remember, this is ranked despite it not saying. All right, hand looks fine. Totes reasonable. A, the ideal three drop. Versus Gruel, then die. So that one makes creatures unable to block or makes a land into a four, four until end of turn. Now they're gonna make it a three, three and bash for three. All right, we'll attack for two Vigilance and play out the Bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of our deck. Just a lot of creatures and not too many tricks. Kind of unfortunate. Swamp. Punch effect. It's not a punch effect. Wait, what the heck is Gravestone Strider doing in their deck? Ooh, I like that. It's a really good attack for us. Because now we get to attack for six. Okay. Uh, let's get the Rummager online. Make it a 3-2. I could have given it haste and attacked with it, but then I couldn't attack with a shield mate and they could just double block. Discard a creature card, it gets plus one plus O, oh, or sorry, plus two plus two until end of turn, activate only once. Just based on toughness, no lesser power. Well, given the burn bright draw and our opponent missing lands, I either go with dog walker face down here or I go guild mage plus witness. I think I like going face down and passing. It's likely our deck is going to function a lot better than theirs on three mana. 06 Defender. Put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Alrighty. This was nice. We get to go... Yeah, we get to go Witness, Guild Mage, Locks and Restorer. Remember, the dogs enter tapped, so I couldn't flip up the dog and do this. <laughs> what is going on? Double Junk Troller deck? Alright, I think we're just going to pass here and either tap with the Guild Mage or flip up our Dog Walker and then just plan on, plan on attacking with everything next turn. Oh, Insidious Roots Junk Troller. Okay, that is kind of clever. I like that. That's kind of neat. Alright, so they're discarding card. Now they can exile or put it on the bottom with a junk troller and uh make a token as well. Kinda of funny. So this isn't lethal, I think they go to one.
They're actually going to be able to junk troller again, so... Yeah, they are actually kind of winning. I'm not even joking. They get to junk troller one thing, and then they get to strider another thing. They're going to have a ton of bugs. The issue for them is that they're going to be... Oh, they didn't activate the... Okay, they messed up there. They should have activated their Strider for a double trigger. Hmm. Cosmotronic Wave? What is their... Their deck is... Well, I don't want to say not good, but it is doing the thing. The funny double junk troller plus Insidious Roost straw is getting me. <laughs> this is hilarious. Wow, look at this! Alright, um... Yeah, we're definitely losing. We might lose this game, but I bet you if we played this matchup ten times, we're probably winning eight of them. But I love it. I love that they're crushing me right now. Maybe I maybe I was not supposed to make that attack yet. I might have punted by attacking all that last turn and not setting up one more time. How do I find one more point of damage here? Scorch mark only goes to creature. I have another Legion Guild Mage, but that requires six mana. Uh, yeah, I think I do just have to kill this. Okay. Uh, should have left it. Double red open for auto tap, of course. So the 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 bull rack is how we're going to win this game. Double strike trample. We might be able to push in a, a point of damage that way. Ooh. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. I was going to say they should have targeted their own creature, but the double junk troller still. Um, Does that? So remember, they have access to eight mana right now because all of their tokens can add mana. Flourishing Bloom. Oh, they had no forests on the battlefield at the time of activation, so it just instantly died. But now they get to... Um... That was actually insane for them that they didn't have a forest, because now they can junk troll it for another trigger. Wow. That's absurd. Ah, now they're going to kill my face down card. Damn it. Yeah, 
That's really bad. Now we probably cannot win. Dude, how am I losing to this? <laughs> Actual hilarity. Good beats. I don't have a trick that can give trample, do I? No, I don't think so. Alright, so let's see. I have to hope that they mess up here. That's my only chance, I'm pretty sure. If they realize what they can do, I die, but I have to go for it. I'm going to have to keep my prowling alive here and hope they mess up. Oh, wait, I messed up. I should have just blocked their 3-4. And they did realize anyways. Okay, I punted that back for sure. That's what I was saying. I need to make sure they don't realize that they can pump up their uh, tokens, but I could have just blocked the 3-4 and had the same result. So that's on me. Um, they would have had one, two, three, four creatures. We might have, we might have had a chance. I don't know. Like I said, I think their deck was cool. We should probably beat it the majority of the time, but I made a couple of mistakes and they did their thing. So good on them, bad on me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're 0-1. That was great. That was great. Okay, let's go on to our next game. Jeez. Oh, yeah, can't, can't. Come on, man. Triple planes into triple mountain. I'm getting punished. I'm getting punished for playing so poorly in the previous game. Am I more likely to mulligan or win on a mulligan to five? I don't think so. I think I just keep this hand and hope I rip a planes off the top. Okay, that was lucky. Let's play the three one first, because if they don't do anything, it's gonna hit in for quite a bit of initial damage. Nice. Yeah, let's go ahead and haste this up. Pack for five and pitch our culprit for now. One, three, okay. Well, I already feel like I'm losing heavily, but Legion Guild Mage is a good start. Face down, that's fine. We have seen a lot of mountains. I mean, I don't love trading off creatures when I have Burn Bright, but in the same vein of things, trading off creatures means we the creatures that we do have are more likely to get through. Oh, damn, they have a Beast Whisperer. I guess I do just hit them for eight. Since we have the Guild Mage, if we draw a land next turn, I want to be activating that as much as possible. So, three mana for four damage right there seemed fine. But yeah, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card, that card pops off. That's their best play? 
Whoa. Okay. They have to block the vampire now. They take four, I get another two, two. If I draw a land, they're just dead to the guild mage. Nice. Oof. Okay, on the board. Everything is fine. Oh yeah, what is our rank right now? We're 382. Let's keep winning, hopefully, and uh, keep improving. All right, I think our game might have bugged out here. Yeah, all right, well. So one loss, one win, one draw, the perfect record. Let's actually get into the game this time. All right. Let's keep gaming. There is a beautiful hand. One drop, two drop, three drop, three drop on the play. Just need to find like one little piece of interaction. But Delny as well. An ability of a creature you control with power two or less triggers. So that does work with Hunted Witness. Whenever it becomes blocked, each creature blocking it gets plus or minus one, minus one until end of turn. Okay, that's fine. I still want to attack here. Bodyguard is so good. Yes, it doesn't attack or block alone, but it is so aggressive. It was a ballsy attack. Hey, the blade juggler. All right, maybe not so ballsy. Let's see. Do I want to trade off my... Creatures you control with power 2 or greater. 2 or less can't be blocked by creatures with power 3 or greater. I guess I'm going to trade off my bodyguard then. That's fine. They should definitely block here, right? Yeah. Man, I remember this being, like, one of the best black commons. Burglar Rat! Alright, we'll just discard Hero, then. Currently, it's only a 2-2 two -two for 2. That's not too bad. The Delny had already done its job, basically. We'll offer the trade here. Ah, that's a good one. The Ministrant of Obligation. It's actually not bad as well. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. We're going to flip up the bull rack this turn and then uh, go for the Maniacal Rage on it next turn. Assuming they're tapped out. If they just hold up mana, we're not going to Maniacal Rage. 
And obviously, if they kill our bull rack, then irrelevant. In fact, it might be best if we just drew a land next turn, because we have them on a two-turn Legion Guild Mage clock. Yeah. Isn't this already lethal? They have three toughness. Yeah, this is already lethal. Don't need to go for Maniacal here. Easy. Nice. Super aggro. Super good. Good curve out for us. Two and one. Even if we drew a planes, I'm not sure this hand would be all that good. It's got scorch mark. Has a little bit of interaction, but no, I'm gonna mulligan this hand. <laughs> all right. Um, God, I want. I think the best play is actually pitching planes, but that's a little bit greedy. Eh, I'm on the draw, that's fine. Man, boo. Already feel like we cannot win. Turn one inspector, too good. Nice draw, obviously. I guess we'll lead on the ornery. They just won't attack with their Novice Inspector. Like, the 10th District actually attacks better next turn, but I'd rather save the ability. Urban Utopia. That doesn't add mana, it just fixes. And it cycles. Tell me, huh? Well, we could actually see if the Delny plus Dogwalker works. Three, three. Okay, with kind of which means we get to attack with both of our creatures. Uh, no, I think we're just going to tell me here. That's fine. Oh, they're attacking. So I can go... 10th District. Attack with both. They pass, because they're not going to chump. Oh, they did chump. What do I know? But afterwards, need to draw our burn right here. Killer among us, nice. So funny enough, our ornery goblin is the perfect attacker into them. They can't block with any of their one ones, or they insta die, and it's technically a trade with Colossus. Though I'd probably. Well, no, we want to save Scorchmark for when they attack with their Killer Among Us token. Ok, 
case of the Gateway Express. Let's choose their goblin. Not only does this save our locks and restore, but we have a 33% chance of just ruining their killer among us. Okay. Oh my god, did we actually hit? We might have. This is not the best attack, but it will clear off quite a bit, which I'm okay with, I think. Okay, so they're going to keep their case of the Gateway Express potentially alive here. And their savior does attack for lifelink in the air. No way. Seriously? Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Brutal. Oh, the brutal draws. Yikes. Now we're losing. Damn. Really? It was their merfolk? Well, I think they missed an attack with it previously then, but... Now the Flying Lifelinker is hosing us. Oh no! And just like that... A couple, a few lands even in a row. Oh! And they have one of the nuttiest cards in the format. Ethereal Absolution. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. Creatures your opponents control get minus one minus one. And then it also makes two two flyers. Jeez. Well, we were doing really well, and then we drew too many lands, and they drew too many good spells, so. Good beats. GG. Alright, we're on the ropes. We've got two losses now. On the play? Okay, hey, this hand is pretty good. Pretty good and aggressive. I'm actually not gonna make the witness suspect. Maniacal Rage might not be great versus blue-green, because they might not have as many ways to kill my creature. That's not good. Alright. They're more likely to have, like, bounce effects. This turn, each creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 counter. Move a 1-1 counter from target creature you control onto another target creature. That card was nice, but it was slow. Really good with the adapt creatures. That's, like, insane with Shark to Crab, for example. Oh, if both players are stuck on 2 mana, then we're doing fine. Awesome. Huge blowout combat trick, and we reveal a land on top. Nice. <laughs> I cast three one-mana spells and a two-mana spell, and it was good enough. The Boros way. Okay, up to three wins. Feels good. On the draw, is this keepable? I think I'm going to mulligan that, look for better. Come on, why does this keep happening, dude? <sighs> this is another one of those keep and pray I draw a planes or... Yeah, I don't I don't think going down to five is going to do us any favors. Let's, let's keep here and hope I rip a planes. Next turn, or bust. 
There's actually something to be said about using Storm Strike here. Just to scry one. But. I think rolling the dice was better. I probably need to use it this turn. Because if I brick on a land this turn, then it's not winnable. Wow. Well, good thing I did, because that was not what we wanted to draw. Nor was that, sadly. All right, well, a uh, couple of games here have just been a little bit unlucky, but what can you do? Except for cry when you try not to cry. Yeah, they, I mean, they've already filtered through. All right, GG's. They've already filtered through a couple lands. I can't beat anything here. Doesn't matter. Good beats. All right, well, that is not exactly how we wanted to go. I did the try to force Boros. It ended up okay. Um, I think I punted game one, but it was cool at least to see the opponent do their thing. Uh, and then, yeah, a couple other games just really weren't doing much. So another look at this here, Ravnica Chaos Draft, which is not really. We did drop. Oh, no, no, we didn't move too far. Wait, did that move at all? I don't actually remember what our rank was now, but pretty sure it is ranked. In any case, we'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.